Hello, my name is Stephen O'Neill, and I'm the guest curator for the Alden Kindred and the Alden House Museum on an exhibit looking into the Alden First Sight archaeology. This was an, an excavation done in 1960, and since then, the pieces have never really been put on display. We are going to create a new exhibit based on that archaeology, incorporating new research and new analysis of the pieces that were found. We're going to include a large exhibit case with the footprint of the site as it was found. Because of the pieces that were uncovered in that excavation, some are truly extraordinary and unique, such as a gun fork. The muskets in the 17th century were so heavy that they needed a little extra support to hold up their weight. Now, all these pieces were found at the home of John Alden and Priscilla Mullins. They moved over here to Duxbury in the early 1630s and raised 10 children in their family. 10 children in a house that, if you look at the footprint, was only about 38 feet long by 10 and a half feet wide. It's not a lot of space, not a very large house. So what we're going to look at is re-examining all of these pieces to discover what the house looked like, how it was used, and how the Alden family lived in it during their daily lives. One of the interesting things found among the thousands of pieces uncovered is a simple piece of glass. It's thick green glass and has a nice curve at the very top. That's because this isn't window glass, it's glass from a bottle. Similar to this one here, a case bottle in the 17th century these bottles, square in shape, would fit inside a divided wooden box and be protected when they traveled across the ocean. Other pieces that were found in the site itself were parts of utensils, like a spoon bowl or a spoon handle, and lots of pieces of ceramic. Ceramics were the most common materials found in the excavation. Thousands of different pieces, dozens of different varieties, from Chinese porcelain to stoneware to salt glazed ceramics to basic redware. A simple ceramic handle, like this one, to a pot or a jug, the base of a small butter pot, or, very tellingly, bits and pieces. Very small pieces of ceramic redware that were found in fragments and were swept out the back to the north side of the house. It shows where people were eating, where they were doing food preparation, where they were doing most of the living in the house, and then when they were done with the broken pieces, where they swept them out the back door for the rubbish. We're going to try to tell the story of daily 17th century life, John, Priscilla, and their children, throughout the 1600s, using the archaeological pieces that were uncovered. 